Now, time is running out now for former DA MP Ngaba Banga, who must give reasons why he should not be expelled from the party. Banga publicly labelled the party's federal chair, Helen Zilla, a racist. He also claimed she was working with the ANC to oust him from his former leadership position after being served with the suspension notice on Sunday. The DA gave Banga 48 hours to provide some reasons why he shouldn't be suspended from all party activities. Now, the DA is accusing the former leader of bringing the party into disrepute. Let's make some sense of this. Joining us now to unpack this is governance expert Sam Koma. Very good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. The clock apparently ticking for DA MP Ngababanga, who must give reasons why he should not be expelled. How should this matter begin to be interpreted? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mpo, for the opportunity. So the effects surrounding the, the matter uh, involving uh, Banga are, are still a bit uh, sketchy at the moment, uh, but also it should be pointed out that uh, Mr. Banga uh, is one of the longest serving members and leader of the DA. At some point, he was entrusted with the responsibility to serve as an executive mayor of the Nelson Mandela uh, Bay Metro and also as the chairperson of uh, the, the, the party in the Eastern Cape. So he's a senior uh, leader of the DA. And uh, in terms of this uh, allegation, of course, if he is not the originator of this alleged social media post, uh, to his defense, he may argue that his social media uh, account was hacked and adduce evidence accordingly. However, if the uh, internal investigation uh, process uh, ultimately reveal and also implicates him, then it may say to us that, one, uh, he is discontent with the leadership of Helen Zille. Two, he may be willing to face any consequence that could be meted against him by the party. He will not be the first to uh, leave the DA uh, on the basis of allegations of racism. It happened to Musi Maimani, Herman Mashaba, Bongani, Baloi, and Ghana, amongst others. But also uh, for the DA, I think it's high time that uh, they stop having a knee-jerk reaction on issues around racism. It is high time that the party initiates an independent internal probe uh, that affords an opportunity to ordinary members of the party to openly express themselves come forward and speak without fear, favor, or prejudice on issues around racism. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be uh, uh, the, the best way for the party to nip the demon of racism in the bud. It has happened in the health professions. It also happened in the cricket SA. It was subjected to the same exercise. It also happened in universities. So I'm saying the ball is in the court of the DA to deal with allegation or allegations of racism within its ranks. Mm. I mean, looking at the DA's track record, I mean, you, you made mention about how the party has faced its own woes around race, the key, key black leaders leaving the party, uh, and that move in itself was dubbed Blackzit. What should come to the forefront on this matter? Is it the idea that uh, Helen Zilla may be prejudiced or, or, or perhaps not uh, up to scratch on handling the complexities of, of the South African society? Where should we be looking as we try and see what sort of solution will come from this? Yes, you're right. So the DA, uh, I think they should not attempt to protect Helen Zilla uh, because it can be that in the majority of cases, uh, black leaders uh, 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 are the ones who allege racism within the ranks of the DA, and they usually implicate Helen Zilli. But uh, this matter has not been fully ventilated and tested. And the only way to test these allegations is for the party to initiate an internal independent probe uh, inquiring into these allegations uh, of racism within its ranks and living up to its founding principles, which is rejection of unfair discrimination on any of the listed grounds. So that would be the, the appropriate way of the DA to be able to handle this kind of allegation of racism within the ranks of the party. Mm, because we also understand that uh, the party says this matter has been referred to the Federal Legal Commission. 
um, for an investigation. When it comes to some grounds that need to be established as this investigation gets underway, what do you think are some of the crucial questions that need to be asked? Yes, of course, um, as, as I said, at this stage, the, the facts are sketchy. Uh, Mr. Banga has not uh, come out open to say, yes, I own up to the social media post. He hasn't said that, but the party has given him 48 hours uh, to, I mean, to advance reasons why he should not be uh, suspended. But Mr. Banga may decide to do what other leaders have already done in the ANC, that is Isma Khashule, who refused to face an internal disciplinary proceeding. It also happened to Mr. Ma Madisha of Co. He also refused to subject himself to an internal probe. So if Mr. Banga takes a similar route, we'll not know what are the true facts. We'll never know what, what is the true state of the facts that have been uh, put before uh, members of the public around this alleged social media post. So I'm saying uh, it is uh, prudent for him to subject himself to this internal uh, party a political process which is looking into the allegation related to the social media post that, uh, uh, well, it is alleged he posted uh, in his account. So with all the, with the matter still in the grey and, uh, you know, details being sketchy, what we do know is that sometime last year, um, Helen Zilla recently uh, compiled a list of black representatives on her Facebook page who continue to serve the, the party as she tries to prove the DA is not facing a major crisis. This in itself was not well received by some who had their comments on social media. But with that in mind, what should... Or ordinarily, if members of the DA decide to leave the party on the basis of allegations of racism. So as I said earlier, uh, it is high time that the, the party faces this demon, it addresses this particular uh, a phenomena within its ranks, and the best way to do that is to initiate or institute an independent internal probe that will allow members of the DA an opportunity to express themselves uh, openly without fear, favor, or prejudice. Black and white, okay? They should be afforded that opportunity to come forward and state uh, their own views around uh, the direction of the party and also how um, some of the issues facing the leadership of the party have been handled in the past and also going forward. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time weighing in on that topic. Governance expert uh, Sam Goma.